Hey guys, it's me, Albert. So, today, uh, like I mentioned from last video, or I posted in a few of my uh, Facebook groups, I was gonna do some kind of show for my customs. Not so much of a review, but we'll start with this guy. He is uh, anti comp down. If, uh, I call him anti comp down for a reason. And if you guys haven't seen my video, or if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And look back at my series Dark Light uh, on part three, which is the latest, and that explains that. Okay, so with anything, I just want to say I appreciate uh, you guys watching, uh, subscribing, uh, and just keeping up to date, and uh, sometimes sharing on the post at Facebook and uh, liking, uh, even disliking, it's fine too, um, because there's something that you guys don't like about it uh i would appreciate it if you have a comment saying what you don't like about it but if you're just putting a dislike out of spite then that's on you uh that's not really helping anyone but yourself but yeah to help me if you do if you do dislike maybe write a comment um but if you like it and you would want to do a comment that's that's fine as well so to begin with um just to show you what uh what I usually do on my customs is I use a Dremel tool. Uh, this here, right? Uh, always have safety first. I got safety uh, glasses. Anything would do, just something to protect you all around. And um, sometimes I use uh, masking tape uh, for uh, the paint. Uh, you can prime. Sometimes I don't prime because that's a lot of work if you sand it. Primate. That's if you're doing something very prof uh, professional, but in my case, it's more it's merely just like a hobby thing So I usually just paint it and then clear coat it and I'm done with it, but there's some areas which does have some uh, Scuffing because of the joints and how it transforms sometimes I'll sand it and then just paint over it and clear coat and usually that works and this is you know, just a, it's a flathead screwdriver uh, It's good for picking and whatnot and then epoxy I usually use this because it dries fast and as you can see it's almost out. I still have another batch there but right now just a, a few show. Uh, this guy here, yes he does transform. Um, as you can see I use parts on my junk bin. I don't exactly, I don't remember exactly like what part it is. But this comes out, he transforms in a way uh like covering up and whatnot so he kind of becomes like his countdown uh predecessor or based on that he becomes like a i kind of forgot how to transform it but right now because because it's custom and there's no uh, uh instructions or things i just usually just go by what i remember but right now i just don't remember so uh and then this guy oops hang on this is uh I put duct tape on them in the back as a geomotus because um, sometimes this thing is coming out so and it's usually just pinned down by a tab into the hole into the hole there with this little tab but I just duct tape right now so it won't fall out but usually it stays in there like here let me take out the duct tape and it usually works well Okay guys, so yeah, that there, just peg that in there right here. And it usually stays, you know. It's, you just apply pressure, but sometimes it'll come out. But right now it's pretty sturdy. So yeah, and he transforms too as well. And like I said, I'm not going to go through the transformation. Just wanted to show you a little show of my customs. And a little small review. So yeah, I like him a lot. Parts I use, uh, I think this was uh, one of those uh, unlocking key, which is uh, Cybertron uh rid perhaps and this one's armada hot shot i like i like the head a lot and this part here like i said nuts and bolts is what i used uh i would get my rubble but he's in my where is he at he's somewhere let me see if i have him right now but yeah i think i'll put him back on the uh detox display but yeah nuts and bolts like this here it's a it's a, it's a nut, two nuts right here. And some bolts I use. I don't know if I used it on him, but on other toys I would use that. So yeah, that's a uh, Geomotus. Um, and this one, 
quick wave is just just a head painted it I made him emphasize the smile because he's a pretty evil dude and then uh, yeah he killed a, he's a murderer but just most Decepticons are like that anyways so this is a leg thigh just extended with another part made him taller give him that look and right now I am working on his two target masters uh, it's, it's almost it's pretty much done maybe a few touch-ups and then clear coat and it should be good so yeah that's that and then um one of the whoa what happened to his his other leg came out but anyways this other target master i had him he's in he's in my bag somewhere but he's all he's already pretty much done too but i gotta do a lot of customizing on the uh the tip the barrel tip i gotta cut that and put another one epoxy like i showed you guys and this one i think was way back too Ooh, I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, it's one of those Target Master, the dual Target Master, like Quick Wave. I forgot the name. Uh, um, hmm. Yeah, and then um, and then Optimus. Oh, wait, actually, let's show. Uh, one of my, the Dark Light crew member, or crew, or one of the guys, uh, Dark Cliff. He's cool. I like him a lot. And then this one here is from the Bumblebee uh, and Cliff Jumper, a little ski. And yeah, and then uh, he also holds the matrix. He, he, he holds the matrix there. I just cut and did a few stuff, just like I did with Optimus here. He, he holds the matrix. So he's just like that too. So he can hold the matrix as well. Um, and then this one, uh, this was a, a project I done two years ago, four years, four or five years ago. So off the Tron. He's a, a kit patch of uh, Generation One Optimus, and then a Megatron piece. So that's off the Tron right there. He's cool as well. So yeah, these guys. And yeah, it's just a quick review. Um, I have also, also other ones, but I didn't want this to make this too long. I think I showed my other one, the, the Dark Rodimus. He transforms, but he's not done. Because I'm still working on the trailer. So yeah, this is Dark Cliff. Alright, let me see if I can take out the Matrix and put it in, in Dark Cliff here. So let's do that. Alright. He goes in something like this. There. He kind of holds it. Like this way. Yeah, so. Something like that. And then just cover it up. And yeah. You can kind of see that matrix there. I thought that was pretty cool. And make Cliff Jumper. At first, I wanted to make him like a Cliff Prime or Cliff Miss Prime or something like that. But then I think Dark Light's cool too. He can hold the Matrix. Maybe he'll be good one of the days. So yeah, that's that's about it. Didn't want to make this too long. And the upcoming projects, uh, working on this guy. He's almost done. It's a Bumblebee. Uh, yeah, and, uh, I don't know if you guys can notice the head. It's a Bumblebee Beaver's. Yeah, so he's almost done. He transforms in a way. But I think I might do more to him. So yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little short, uh, kind of like a showcase of my stuff. Not everything, but just a few stuff. And uh, just want to let you know, I am working on the part four Dark Light series. So if you guys subscribe, that'd be cool. That way you can be updated when I do upload it. Otherwise, just keep an eye out for it. Uh, or Facebook if you do want to uh, subscribe. And then, you know, that'd be cool. And then help me out. Uh, I also put a patreon page. It's on my uh, channel But I guess I'll put it on the link in the comments uh, If anyone can help if not that's understandable because the, the days right now. It's very hard um, But it seems like a lot of business are coming back. So that's a good thing. I mean I work full-time still essential job and uh, I get Friday Saturdays off and I do my uh, stuff here my hobby on my day off so this is for a blur and a, uh, what's the name, cup. 
So, and that's the same mold, but I just colored it. I, and they're almost done too. So yeah, guys, uh, take care. Have a good weekend. Let me know what you think, if anything. Uh, put some comments if you can. Or if you have something to say, uh, let me know. Oh yeah, and this is an upcoming project too. Sandstorm. Alright guys, peace. Take care.